Welcome back guys for another project. In this project I made what you call a injector, fertilizer injector, which uh, it's also called a Venturi injector. It's really technically not the same as the ones that are sold or at least uh, I haven't seen them being used with the sprinkler system so the sprinkler system I have is one inch uh, ID whatever PVC one inch PVC so um, let's talk about how this works the geometry inside this is the input side that's the output side so the source water comes in here goes through here and this goes to the sprinklers on this side so why this uh, what does this do okay so one inch ID water and I looked at it uh, measured it our sprinkler uh, water source whatever to the sprinkler probably to the whole house separately anyway is uh, static pressure is 60 psi so I don't know about the dynamic pressure I don't know if it would be different but I measured statically it's 60 psi and um, I lived in other states so I seen as low as 40 so this is the highest I experienced anyway so what happens the the principle of this um, Venturi action or whatever the Bernoulli principle uh, says the cross-sectional area times the velocity of the fluid um, on rinse like a1 area cross-sectional area time v1 equals to a2 times v2 so if pressure is x here area is let's say 2 if the area is 1 here the pre uh, I'm sorry the, the the speed is v whatever v1 and uh, um, whatever the area is let's say u2 units if the area over here is 1 unit then the velocity should double because area uh, you know ratio it's a linear ratio if the area here is as twice as big as here so the speed here of the fluid will be twice as this and also that's a a a, a1 v1 equals to a2 v2 thing it's a result of the Bernoulli's principle I think and um, if I'm not correct someone should correct me anyway but first of all let's say who this guy is we're talking about Daniel Bernoulli not the Jacob because I thought J this was Jacob but this guy is known for his certain form of differential equation I learned about that um, and I assume it was this guy because how many Bernoulli's can be I mean yeah this guy this guy is there you go that's the principle oops come on so it's shown over here better so apparently there are a lot of these guys and they're really good this Bernoulli family are really good mathematicians and uh, the um, what you call the principle we're going after actually is this kinetic energy uh, of a fluid I guess whatever in this case in a, in a, two, in a PVC and the potential energy and the pressure some of them is constant so potential energy it has I think density gravity yeah I guess and the Z I'm assuming is height from ground or whatever but it has to do with the height but what we're doing is everything's in the same height so that 
term just goes away. So the kinetic energy at you know, um, density times the square of the speed and one half one half density square uh, uh, speed square plus pressure is same so if you increase the velocity pressure must go down that's basically what it is and if you go back as we said that uh, since the area over here is smaller than this one it will be faster so therefore the pressure here in this local area will be smaller than this one. And if you take a hose and stick it in here, it fills up and then it will go right through to here. Because the, the incoming pressure from here is greater than this one. So the fluid would just flow. And that's what I'm using this for. Um, I made a little tank. You can put your, um, I don't know, some kind of, for grass, uh, you know, micronutrients or uh, liquids, fertilizer, you know, everything has to be liquid, not gritty. So I wouldn't clog the sprinklers. So I can put the concentrate in here and uh, turn the whole thing on um, and then adjust these needle valves. Um, and um, I bought this flow meter uh, and I built some electronics well it it gives the flow in in, in, in uh, higher the flow well it, it it outputs pulse width modulated whatever pulse width modulation modulated signal so higher the flow rate higher the frequency so I made a small circuit that you know finds the frequency and then there's a formula for this thing uh, uh, the device itself when I it's a Chinese made uh, it, there's there's a, a like a um, not propeller there's a uh, turbine kind of thing not turbine either but it rotates and then there is a magnet on it and there's a Hall effect sensor. Every time it rotates, it registers, you know, high, low, high, low, high, low. So faster it rotates, i.e., faster, you know, higher the flow rate, uh, higher the frequency of that signal will be. Anyway, so I read that and interpret it, and I'll have LEDs in here. So as I open and close this needle valve, you know, if I open it, the rate will go up. If I close it, the rate will go down. So, you put the concert in here. This is actually, this is not actual representation. My second video will be, will have the actual. I already built this. You use this. Um, so, it's it's different. It's similar to this. You know, there's. I have a valve in here. Ball valve. I have a ball valve in here. So, um, I can turn this valve off well there are valves here here you know and this goes back to the main sprinklers or whatever main source of water comes here so, uh, we, when I show it it will make sense but for the sake of uh, explaining this thing it doesn't I don't I didn't I really didn't want to build the whole system in here I don't like modeling crap out of everything um, anyway so yeah I shut the power to the source so there nothing would come in here not like nothing would go out here either so but in case uh, you know I tilt this this way up about 45 degrees and there's a ball valve here I shut it off this ball valve here I turn you know open it so I can put the um, concentrate in here and then close this valve close this uh, open this valve and keep it in that upright position because when this starts filling uh, it's gonna start filling the water all the way and then I slowly turn this on well this is on all the time because at the end everything 
uh, um, comes out of this and goes in here towards the whatever sp sprinklers, it's all going to the same place. So, and I'm doing it zone by zone, so it doesn't really matter. I mean, I can wait for it to fill, but I experienced a couple times it really doesn't matter. So, this is uh, my way of, um, you know, adding supplements like humic acid or sea kelp or other micronutrients or, or things that are con consist of mixture of these. Uh, liquefied, you know, not gritty or anything. Uh, no iron though, because uh, my sprinklers, they get on the concrete, so I don't want to make any stains on the concrete. So, but anything else that doesn't stain, I could use it. Also, I will not use it for any kind of pesticide, because this uh, sprinkler is kind of... Um, droplets in the air since we have COVID thing <laughs> it may make more sense uh, those you know we, we're right next to the water you know we have like 20 30 feet no well 30 feet 40 feet away from water I don't and you know all of this pesticides like herbicides insecticides and fungicides I use they all say oh it's uh, extremely toxic to the aquatic invertebrate so I don't want to kill anything, so I'm only going to use it for like maybe fertilization, but definitely for supplemental stuff. That something like humic acid, you, you can't put too much of it unless you know if you don't care about wasting it, you know, it's it's not going to harm anything. So, sea kelp the same way. So, these kind of stuff instead of walking around like a normal person, put it on the grass and takes hour an hour and a half properly doing it just put it on there and turn the zone and boom it's all out so um, this is in a nutshell what it is this I think what they sell let's say um, uh, yeah let's see Venturi Injector. Yeah, I look at some PSI requirements. Venture, like I mean, it says it's right. Oh, it's 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 amazing. Oh, you know, it's this simple. You know, like you put stuff in here and boom, it sucks. In. No, no, it does not work for me that way. I don't know if it's my pressure is too high. Uh, you know, this is one of the papers I went off one of the versions of the design here this is my final one uh, I'm just going off the base principle I'm not uh, requiring because what these things say oh you just water comes in here and then you put something in here and the water comes out here right it will suck it there's no uh, high pressure and low pressure thing. It will just suck it. Well, how? Unless, okay, this is the this is the problem. Atmospheric pressure. For something to be sucked from here, the pressure here should be less than atmospheric pressure. Because the container, you, unless your container, whatever, this thing is pressurized internally, which that pressure would be higher than this, there's no way it's going to suck. So what I seen commercially, they have just like I don't know one gallon, uh, you know, liquid thing you put connected to this whatever, and it just sucks right out. Oh, I don't. It doesn't work that way for me. Then, and I I tried different diameters, different you know uh, um, whatever this diameter, that diameter, and then uh, the angle. In almost all of them were uh, this angle coming here going out the angle between this is inlet size is 41 degrees outlet is uh, 14 so from the center line this center line to this is 7 7 20 and a half and 20 and a half here 
and that dictates at this uh, whatever the diameter reduction it dictates of course the, uh, the length of the section anyway so that's called throat this part and this is in a nozzle I guess yeah and this is the diffuser so that's the terminology but it doesn't work for me that way it does like because sprinkler system itself it causes a back pressure it's not um, you can use it for like aquariums you can suck air in and uh, and then uh, just like a uh, water just flows into it. there's no uh, it's open-ended like it, it just flows into something the pumps recirculate the water so there's no restriction like sprinkler that would cause a back pressure because when sp sprinklers pop up it's because of the back pressure it's not well well it is because of the water pressure but the orifice in this sprinkler system is small compared to the incoming volume so it causes back pressure and then they pop up and then they can go anywhere so they start spraying so what i'm thinking the way that i've done since i have sprinklers on this end this because of that back pressure this pressure in here pressure uh, well this pressure in here was never lower than the atmospheric pressure so i would have to go literally at the um bernoulli principle to i mean there's no way this is fact that the pressure here will be higher than the pressure here so if I take water in here, shove it in here, mix it with stuff, and connect this here, it will flow clockwise. Well, I mean, from here to there, but source will come in. So this is a sure way, and this is the way that I was able to do it. And they got all kinds of uh, these whatever geometries and such, and there's this paper they have yeah I mean it's yeah look at this water outlet to what yeah it, it makes no sense to what like is it is it going into something that has some back pressure or is it just like just open that's it yeah like I mean yeah that's it so that's oh yeah see Treated water. It's, there's nothing. This is probably going to a tank. It's open ended, no pressure. There's a pressure. Yeah, pressure reduces. Not as much as uh, in mine. This is this is a lot, like four times. But what 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 is that? Five psi going out? I don't think so. If that happens, then sprinklers are not going to work. Well, sprinklers, I don't think they will work with 20 psi. I'm not sure, but this, yeah, no. This wouldn't work with this sprinkler. Yeah, it just sucks the water in, just like casually <laughs> spits it out without no back pressure. Sure, it would work. In fact, I think I watched something someone was saying, uh, showing even having a a long hose uh, causes this thing to stop working so in my experience any version this is the last one even uh, this one if I clog, plug this one it will be just like the other ones so no matter what I did all my versions water comes in here there's no suction in here it just spews water out of here because of the you know pressure of the sprinkler system so anyway um i will uh in the uh, next video i will probably um put this on well i mean it will be a phone video so i will show the whole system it's kind of looking unprof unprofessional with the flexible hose and such, but 
it works well and it saves me time I don't have to do anything I just mix the you know put the concentrate on this end and it gets delivered so expect a video on this uh, probably soon probably tomorrow and then this is all uh, well I didn't make this to set up another project well, I already had uh, that project done before but this kind of makes a segue to uh, good segue to the next project which is um, my own uh, program that you know I have a small database really nothing really it's all most of it is hard coded in the code all the or the fertilizers I use herbicides and insecticides and fungicides and supplements all in one place all the information is on there and then my yard uh, image of my yard and the sections and then applications I make how much where was it a spot treatment was it this was it that and um, it keeps a uh, you know in the application screens it keeps a uh, keeps track of uh, you know year to date major m macro nutrients nit uh, nitrogen phosphorus and potassium as well as you know if I create applications in the future so it also looks at the whole year even though the ones that are not done it shows a total sum of those nutrients or whatever for the whole year it's it, it helps a lot and uh, uh, I've been using it uh, so anyway uh, if, if nothing I mean before the sprinkler thing um, I was using it to just a reference in one place for everything I have uh, you know if I'm spraying by hand what would be the uh, you know ounce per gallon if it's a liquid concentrate kind of thing uh, liquid let's say insecticide which products you know I can go quickly to the program and see instead of digging through the freaking uh, labels of the products uh, or google it and blah blah everything's in one place it helps me and uh, this new edition the application stuff I work I mean, I started doing it a month ago, and I was finished uh, pretty pretty quick because I knew exactly what I wanted. So, and then I also added uh, soil res soil test results and blah blah. I only have two, but from now on, I will get at least once a year, which I will show you. Uh, um, it came out pretty good. Apparently, I start all this yard thing myself again after a long <laughs> eight ten years basically um, um you know we can tell I'm getting serious and uh, measuring everything and evaluating quantifying and see the results and and it's already pretty good looking yard but uh, just you know creating a method for the madness not the other way around so We'll see. Uh, I'll next video. I'll show the physical, you know, working of this, as well as uh, uh, after that video, I will go into as kind of like another project video, another playlist or whatever. For uh, it will be one video though. It won't be too long uh, of the uh, yard maintenance program I wrote. Uh, so anyway, we'll. Uh, Hope you like this video, and if it inspires you, I have you make one. It's not that simple. I mean, it's not that hard. Uh, all you can do, <laughs> you can't even get just regular PVC, uh, one inch PVC T over here with the screw, whatever screw, female screw thing, and then that goes into reduces into half inch with a T, half inch T with a screw, and then that goes into whatever else. You don't even have to have this cone shape. I don't think so. Because 
you can just do this. It's uh, I mean there are a lot of videos, not a lot, but I mean there's at least ten videos I've seen of people do this thing by you know just the Home Depot Lowe's PVC fittings. You know it's it's not that tough. I just wanted to get you look at the the university papers and you know I actually had to buy you know. A, a longer boring bar to be able to make that taper because the boring bars I had just ends over here and I cannot come back and this is a piece of let's say take that one take this one oh, take that one so this is one piece I can't I, I didn't want to lose concentricity that's also in this one I cannot physically go make this no there's no way I can't I would have to have left ended and well you know just got I got one it's a cheap one uh, you know to make this part to get what they were saying but apparently like I said the sprinkler system has a back pressure and no one is mentioning using these things with a sprinkler system unless and I don't think it will work unless you pressure I don't know. There, the diameters and the there. I'm sure there's a sweet spot in one way, but you know, you, with a sprinkler system, you don't want to have low pressure because just to, for for the sake of lowering the pressure in here, if you're gonna have low flow and low pressure, that's just be gonna be worthless anyway. So this is the easy way out. This known principle, high pressure, low pressure, will go this way. So, anyway, talk to you guys later. And uh, if you like the video, just thumbs up. If you don't like it, just say you suck or something. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Have a good one.